Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm bringing you something slightly different in the Things You Missed series today. It's going to be a much shorter one and I'm just basically wrapping up a few things scattered throughout the world before we then move into the crumbling Faramazula and the endgame. So firstly, now that we've completed the Halig Tree and Elthale, I have respec and I'm essentially cosplaying as Melania, using her armor set, using her weapon, and basically every talisman and spell that I can to make me an absolute glass cannon with the waterfowl dance. So we are now going to try and defeat the fire giant one on one in an epic boss montage, Melania versus the fire giant. There is some very cool moments here. So I will show you bits from all of my attempts and all of my deaths. And I will shut up while you watch some very epic gameplay with an awesome soundtrack over the top. Enjoy. I meet you back here now during the final combo of the fire giant fight and I slay him with a huge blood loss proc for that incredible 6,000 damage and he finally goes down and we're rewarded with nearly 200,000 runes and of course the remembrance of the fire giant. So now I meet you up here on top of the forge of the giants 
ready to listen to the sounds of the flame. And this is such an awesome cutscene. There are some incredibly cool screenshotable moments here during this cinematic, where Melania is using herself as kindling to set fire to the Erd Tree. And now we awake to find ourselves in the crumbling Farah Missoula. We're just going to sprint down to the end of this walkway and grab the Smithing Stone 8, and then grab the Golden Rune 9 once we've hopped down these platforms. Keep following the path down where I am. And now you are going to see Melania destroy every single one of these Beastmen with one combo of the Waterfowl Dance. Honestly, this is going to be a very, very fun section to play through. Once you've cleared up all them and grabbed the loot, come into the next room and take out the beastmen in here as well. And after you've grabbed this lightning proof dried liver, just through here you'll find the Sight of Grace. Now that we've rested in the crumbling Pharaoh Missoula, we'll leave it there and we'll come back here during the Things You Missed videos for the crumbling Pharaoh Missoula. For now, we're going to teleport away and wrap up a few other things that I wanted to show you before we head into the endgame. The next thing I'm going to show you is something I could have shown you so long ago, I just completely forgot to do so. You meet me now here in the Lanedale outskirts. More specifically, we're going to teleport to the Site of Grace at the southwest here, the Divine Tower of West Altus. You know the drill with these Divine Towers by now, so I'll meet you right at the top. And this is where we can restore the power of Rykard's Great Rune. Once you've done that, just a little bit to the northeast, teleport yourself to the Divine Bridge. You don't need to take out this golem, but I will, because cosplaying as Melania is the most fun thing I have ever done in this game. <laughs> so, once he has been obliterated, we'll jump through this portal, and we will be at the isolated Divine Tower. At the top here is where we can restore the power to Melania's Great Rune. And now, apart from Moog the Lord of Blood, we have six of the seven Great Runes. Moog is located in the Moogwin Dynasty Mausoleum, which we'll be wrapping up in a later video when we review all of the final endgame content. But as you can see here, we now have Rykard's Great Rune, which, just like his Blasphemous Blade, restores HP upon defeating enemies, and Melania's Great Rune, which a lot of people refer to as the Bloodborne Rune, because just like in Bloodborne, if you attack immediately after receiving damage, you will partially recover your HP. However, unlike with Bloodborne, the HP you recover is poxy, it's minuscule, and it actually reduces the healing power of the Flask of Crimson Tears, so I would say it's totally not worth it. My advice, stick with Godric's Great Rune. It's the best one, it really is. So we've now wrapped up the Forge of the Giants and also done a few other optional things to prepare us for the crumbling Farah Missoula, which shall be coming next. So all I have left to say is I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.